Right, well, we're out shooting a quick margin feature today. Where are we today? We're up at Birch House Lakes. And, it, and Craig's brought me a little prezi. He's brought me a margin pole, an MTX that fits all the MTX range, an MTX margin pole. It, it's called 8.6, oh, 8.7 metres. And if I'm honest, I've never ever used a margin pole in my life. I, I've never, um, I've never really had to just because I fish all little girls venues, if I'm honest. But recently there's been a few venues such as um, Lindome on beaches and Larford on the lily beds that I've been frightened to death. So Sean's come up with a lovely pole that fits every single one of our range. It fits the MTX4 down to the MTX1. What is it? It's eight, seven meters, which so that's going to do you for all edges. It's going to fish, reach most next pallets. What do you get? We well, get three, three power tops with it. It's just I'm proper made up with it, and it saves me more importantly because I do a lot of fishing. It saves me taking a spare pole with me, which I, I think is absolutely mega. Instead of having to take a spare 13 meter pole. Instead, I can fish a nice, say, eight metre pole in my bag that fits in a nice little tube, nice and slim and doesn't take up much space. And it's going to be compact with every single one of my sections, be compact, be compatible with every single one of my sections on my pole. That if I ever have a, a bit of an issue on the bank and I break a section for whatever reason, I've got a backup. Also, I've got a pole for horrific situations if ever they care as well. So these are, I think it gets these um, number two, power number two uh, top kits with it which from what I've seen today, I can't even break one. I mean, I've seriously <laughs> tried to pull ever so hard on this lily bed that we've had some carp flying through and it, it seems pretty much unbreakable. So for me, I think I'm sold on it. I'm now, well, Craig doesn't know yet, but this is coming over me. I'm now an owner of a margin pole. So it's definitely, definitely worth a look. If you're after something to either fit your current NTX pole that you need just to cover yourself for spares with the addition of a couple of, or oh, three little extra top kits that you get with it, well worth it, or if you just want a nice cheap pole. If you want a cheap pole, you don't need to fish too long, so it's perfectly usable. I'd happily use that all day, whether it's fishing shallow or whatever, I could use that all day. I can hold with one hand and feed. So it's it's not the margin pole that I'd sort of expect. I've not really held too many over the years, but the ones I have held are always very heavy and cumbersome and they're horrible, if I'm honest, but I'd happily use this. This, this is pretty much no different to me holding exactly the same sort of length as my MTX2 all day. I mean, it's easy usable right so if you're in the market for either say a backup pole a margin pole or just a say a short pole oh, or just a short pole for its use on its own that it's massively worth worth a look you know what i mean i'd definitely if i was in the market i needed a nice cheap pole or say exactly what i want it for for space for my for my mcx4 this is going to be so much easier to carry and as you can see by the abuse i'm giving this thing it ain't gonna let you down, even in the worst situation, you're still gonna be able to get fish in. But definitely, have a mind at your tackle shop and just have a look. Woohoohoo! <laughs>